Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to briefly cover the solution to this question called connecting cities with minimum cost. So before we start the question for the day, I would really appreciate that if you can help subscribe the channel. So let's get started. So there are n cities numbered from 1 to n. So you're given the connections where each connection is represented by three numbers, uh, city 1 to city 2 and uh, the cost to connect city 1 and city 2. So return the minimum cost so that uh, every pair of the city, there exists a path of the connections that connect those two cities together. So the cost is the sum of the connections uh, cost used. So if the task is impossible, then you're just going to return one. So let's say for this example one, you're going to return six because we just need this edge and this edge. And for example two, you're going to return minus one. That is because we cannot make the uh, the whole graph to be a connected component. So let's see the notes. So it says that n is anywhere between one to ten k and connection uh, can be anywhere between one to ten k's. So um, it says that uh, for each of the connection, it is never going to point to itself. It's like there's no connection from one to one or two to two, something like that. So um, after understanding the uh, problem and thinking about the edge case, uh, I think there's not uh, really some edge case worth to think about based on the description. Um, so let's think about how to solve this problem. So uh, this is uh, a pretty traditional minimum spanning tree uh, question, uh, MST. So usually there are two uh, algorithms. One is called prime, one is called Crusco. So prime is uh, from the perspective of uh, nodes, while Crusco is from the perspective, perspective of edges. So for prime, uh, essentially you have two sets. The, set, the first set starts with some random uh, now let's say take the example like one two three. So we start with uh, with one, and V uh, contains uh, the nodes, which is the rest of the nodes we have, which are two and three. So we what we are going to do is we are going to try to find the the edge that connect any node within U and any node within V, and uh, at the same time, the edge is has the smallest has the smallest cost. So at this moment, we see that one to two is five, and one to three is six. So essentially, we need to have we need to choose uh, one and two here, one to two here, because that one has a minimum cost, which is five. So currently, we have the cost as equal to five. So after we have cho we we've chosen the the edge, you're going to add both nodes into into set u and delete the corresponding node from no, from set v so you're going to since we choose one two as the edge so we are going to remove two from the v and add it into u so next so this part we are going to uh, find it the other edge so we see that one is two three is six and the two to three is one so you're just going to choose two to three so the cost is five plus one which is equal to six currently so we are going to just uh, remove uh, the node from uh, from V here. So um, after we have uh, cleared out, uh, so so as for now we have cleared out uh, the set V, so you can pretty much just uh, just uh, end up here. Or uh, or actually, uh, if there is no connection between set U and set V, then we are also going to. Uh, we are going to we are going to stop there, so that's essentially how prime algorithm works. And there's another algorithm called Crusco. So Crusco is going to essentially first sort by uh, sort by the uh, the uh, I would say the cost of uh, edge, and then each time we are going to take the uh, so we are going to iterate through from the edge, uh, from edge with uh, smallest cost to largest cost. So it's something like a, a greedy algorithm. So as long as, uh, so, and also at the same time, we need to define the union. So what is union? So essentially we start to, to think about that each, uh, 
each node belongs to belongs to it, it belongs to itself. Each each node has its own union. And uh, suppose uh, suppose the two nodes, the from node and the to node for the edge, belongs to to a, two different unions. Then we are going to uh, choose this edge and add add to our uh, final set. Um, and then we are going to merge the two unions together. So let's say for this example, first of all, we are going to sort the the, the edge. So essentially we are going to, after sorting, it will be something like this. And then we see that, um, uh, so let's say, let's use some map to represent it. So, so one belongs to itself, node one belongs to itself, node two belongs to itself, and no three belongs to itself. So uh, we see that so we see that he first choose two, three, and one. Uh, sorry, uh, the first first edge, which is from two to three, and uh, the cost is one. So currently, the cost is equal to one. And uh, we see that two and three belongs to the different union. So we are going to merge them. So let's say we are going to uh, have three belongs to two. So we see that uh, two and three belongs to the same union, which means they share the same same parent, which is two. And then we see the second one, which is one, two, and five. And uh, we we see that um, uh, one, one and two belongs to the different union. So we this uh, we can we we can definitely use this one uh, this edge. So we have the total cost as one plus five, which is six currently. And we need to merge uh, one and two together. So let's say one, uh, one, two. So one and two. So one's parent is one, two's parent is two. So let's say we just have set one's parent as two. So now one, two belongs to the same union. And actually everything belongs to the same union. So the, the for loop, when we are going to stop this for loop is once uh, we have chosen like n minus one, n is the number of the nodes. Once we have chosen n minus one edges, then we are going to stop there. Otherwise, we are just going to iterate through every of the edge. So that's pretty much uh, how each kind of the algorithm is going to work. So uh, let's go through this piece of code. So currently, this piece of code is using the cruise call algorithm. So the cruise algorithm is going to be, let's say there are e edges. So the runtime is going to be uh, o e log e because there is essentially the sorting part. So like I said, uh, first of all, we are going to sort based on the cost and then we initialize the union. So let's say when we initialize that, uh, we say that each of the node belongs to its, its, its own union. So we define this uh, node to parent map and uh, we put, uh, put uh, the node and the corresponding parent, which is itself, to this map when we try to initialize this union. And then uh, we have the edge and we have the total cost. So we are going to iterate through every of the edges from the uh, from the smallest cost to the to the largest cost because it is sorted so we have the node one node two of the of the of the edge and the try, first of all we try to find the corresponding parent of each of the node so if uh, if the if they are they belong to, to the different thing so that's a good thing then we are going to plus plus the edge because we find the edge that can connect the different components and then uh, we are going to merge the two nodes together and to say that uh, we the, now node one node two belong to belongs to the same uh, belongs to the same component or belongs to the same union, and then we are going to plus plus the, the cost. So how so the, how do we find the corresponding parent for the node? So this is essentially a um, a a recursive function. So if the current node is not equal to its parent, then we then we are going to do uh, do a recursive function to find the corresponding parent. Otherwise, we are just going to say uh, it is uh, it is uh, the node is the final parent. And also, when we do the union, uh, we are going to try to find the try to see if they belong to the same parent. If not, then we are going to uh, say okay, so, uh, we just uh, put p one. Uh, let's say p one is uh, the parent of p two. So something like this. Um, so, 
yeah so and also at the same at the end if there if you have chosen n minus one edges which means we have uh, connected all the nodes then we are going to return total cost otherwise we are going to return minus one so and after and after you're done with coding please don't forget to do the testing so um, that's pretty much it that's pretty much it about this question and about the general process so if you have any question about the algorithm or what about whatever feel free to leave some comments below if you like this video please help us support this channel i'll see you next time thanks for watching